What is going on, guys? It's your Pixel Rider here, Riggy Katie, and today I am going to be showing you how to build a really cool Minecraft barn that you can use for really anything you want. You don't have to make it a full barn, you can just make it a one stall, three stalls, just whatever you really want. It's this one here. You, you may have seen it in my Survival Saturday video because of the mess up. So, yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to build it. The blocks and materials are totally optional. It's just up to you. But this is what it looks like. Uh, it's not my original design, though. So if you want to see the original video and subscribe to the person who made it because it is an amazing tutorial, be sure to look in the comment, well, into the description box. And I should leave a link to their channel if I can indeed remember. I don't remember their name off the top of my head, but I will search and find it so that way I'm not trying to steal a design. I just want to share it with you because it's such an amazing idea. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So the things you will need, you are going to need a type of wood. So today I'm using acacia. You are going to need spruce wood slabs, spruce wood planks, fences, iron bars, you are going to need, um, let's see, that's basically it, you're going to need fence gates, let me adjust it, you are going to need hay, and whatever you, like the floor item you want, and I'm using a cauldron, and we're just going to start with that for our inventory, I'm just going to fly way over here, so that way it's out of the way, so no one has to worry about it, so we're just going to place our log, and we're going to place a log logged in a square with two blocks in between each log, like this. So, two, log, two, log, two, log, two, log. It should look something like so. Uh, these are very small, but, like it's a very small stall, but it's perfect size for horses. And then you're going to want each log to pillar to be three blocks tall in total. Yeah, so that's basically all. Then, in the, you pick your front side, and then break out the four blocks. This is optional. And you should do this. And this marks the front of your horse stall. And then everywhere else, kind of enclose it in your wooden planks. Rain. And you just want it to look... Something like this to where you have little windows on all sides except the front. Then you're going to put iron bars in those leftover window spots. I chose iron bars because they looked more like a real life horse barn. So be sure to do that if you want. And then in the front logs here, you're just going to put fences of your choice. It doesn't matter what kind. And then on top, you're going to want slabs. And you're just going to encircle this whole foundation in slabs. So just kind of make it like this to where they lead out onto the fences and connect them in the front. Not here where the pillar is, where the fence is, where it is right in front of your pillar of logs. And then take planks and fill in the center to give it a little top to it. So from a distance it looks a little more dimensional. And then you just add your gates one back from the logs that are sideways and inside however you want it it doesn't really matter and then next to the log well in between both of the logs I like to put slabs I think it looks good so that's the way I do it and if you want to combine them you do the same process except two of them are already done for you see this side is completely done for you it makes life and time go a lot quicker just add your iron bars and then you're gonna want this um, yeah this is such a great tutorial because it's really survival friendly like I build it every time I'm in a survival world so you'll probably be seeing it on the survival Saturdays once I get that series back up and going 
if being early 14 can ever figure out the audio issue. He's been helping me with my channel. And if you guys want to turn this into a barn, I'm just going to quickly turn this right here. It's a little tricky. So you're going to go diagonal from this and back one block. That's where you want it. I didn't mean to break the ground though. That's where you place your log. As you see, it's kind of confusing. So be sure you know what you're doing. And then you just build this. You know, and you just keep adding to it however you want. However many stalls, and you do the same thing on both sides, diagonal, and then back one. Wait, no. See, I messed up. But it's di diagonal to it, and then back one to where it's... That's why I was confused. Okay. And then it's like that, and you can just slowly add more stalls to it. And it will turn out to be an awesome looking barn. So I'm just going to go ahead and build them up. Because you guys probably want to know how to do the roof for the barn. I'm not going to do the interior of this. I just kind of want to get the shape. And then you guys can see how to finish it later on. Um, so you just slowly, slowly build it up. I don't want to take too long in my recording software and editing software, which I don't have an editing software, but um, I'm working on doing that. But it just doesn't allow me to cut in and out of videos, so that's why I'm not completely finishing the design. So I apologize for that. If you do like tutorials, though, I have another tutorial I can do for you, and I might make a tutorial. T -t 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 tutorial Tuesday. I don't know. I'm all about the weekday puns. It's it's a lot of fun to do. Um, yeah, I'm not the best at building though, but I can show you my favorite tutorials from other people and give them credit, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you do like this, please check out the original maker in the description. I don't want to be a thief, steal his design, and. You guys not check out, give his video of you. I'd feel really, really bad. So please just at least go subscribe to him. It doesn't take long. It just takes a second. And then you have a new subscription. And then that lets him know that his tutorial is really, really good. So then you're just going to connect that. And you should have something looking like this. And then you're just going to take it and go one lap completely around like so and this way when we do the front of our barn you will be able to see the planks the planks just adding planks gives it an extra dimension and I think it's really really cool and it works super 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 well all right, there you go. And if you don't like how far back that is, just bring it up one more. And then you're done. And, you know, you'll have, and for right here, what I do is I like to, um, since it goes like this, I do that. Or what you can do is you could just take your spruce wood and do this. It's completely up to you, but I think that spruce wood looks actually really nice, and it just gives the back of the barn a back of the barn. So thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure, if you do like this tutorial, to check out the original maker's design, which will be in the description, and just like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later.